This program provided South Australian councils with funding for initiatives to help young people aged 12 to 24 cope with the impacts of COVID-19. Across 14 councils, we had programs ranging from learning how to work in a cafe to building a pumped track and numerous programs in between. In response to COVID, we were trying to solve the problem of youth unemployment and the related consequences on the well-being of young people. During the height of COVID, so social isolation was a big issue um, and a lot of any social behaviour happening. Projects that were funded aim to reduce social isolation and help disadvantaged young people improve their wellbeing and resilience. It aimed to increase engagement of priority groups in the local community, including young people in regional areas, First Nations people, culturally diverse communities, and people who identify as LGBTQI+. I participated in the Incubate and the digital storytelling programs with Onkapringa Youth. Since joining these programs, I have strengthened my networking skills and this is essential in my entrepreneurial lifestyle. I participated in the digital storytelling workshop run by Onkapringa Youth. I gained lots of knowledge about editing and now I can apply that knowledge into uh, school film making and holiday videos. I developed skills and now I can apply to my everyday life, including general pictures which I can now take incorporating different angles and heights. My favourite part of the program was editing and putting effects to the videos. The project we ran was called Building Up Hope. It was a partnership with Hope Street, the Playfair Council and Carclu. We had a refurbishment of a local shopping centre in Davenham Park with some young people who wanted to build some community pride. So we met with the young people, asked what they wanted and brought it to life, brought their vision to life. Everyone was very excited with the building up on it and having it finally together and a good place to, for the community to be. And a parent was saying that they love how their kid comes down here after school, a safe environment. Coming back and seeing it from what it used to be and seeing it now it sort of makes you put a smile on your face because you see these kids, more and more kids want to come along because it looks so good. I could not have been happier with the outcome, not only just for the project and how that went but for the relationship it has formed between ourselves and the wider community. For a program like this, all the projects were genuinely youth-led. They were developed by young people, for young people, with lived experiences of the challenges that others were facing during the COVID-19 pandemic. I think this program and the projects that we were involved, I think they helped to show the community that young people can be part of the solution. It has connected young people to art spaces, they can have a real sense of ownership. I think it was amazing. Working with the council and car clue were beautiful, like just the local community loved it and really owned it. Um, it was a very special time. We think great outcomes can be achieved when the state government partners with councils to tailor solutions to the needs of local communities. The project engaged vulnerable groups, helping them forge new connections with schools, councils, community groups and local employers. Those connections will be a support to the young people involved in the program right throughout their adult life. And that is truly life-changing.